All right, just got done with my workout and I just want to talk about isolation and how it breeds success and greatness. Like I just realized from this long weekend that I can't be attached to anybody. Whether it be family, whether it be friends, like I can love them from a distance. But when it comes to this life, I'm walking alone. And that's because it takes so much energy. It takes so much mana to go in that gym and to kill it which builds momentum to do other things like these videos. And if I have people in my ear, or if I'm surrounded by people who are trying to comfort me, like usually family, that's what they provide, comfort. That's the last fucking thing I need in my fucking life is comfort. And I love my family, I do, but I have to walk alone. I can't be surrounded by anyone that isn't on the same wavelength as I am. I'm on this earth to get something. I'm here to prove something. I'm here to follow my vision. I got the belief. It's inside of me. Isolation allows me to build that belief and to follow that vision without all the fucking naysayers, without all the people who have given up on life telling me that it's not possible, telling me to slow down, literally just draining that greatness out of me. That's why you're a fucking loser who's doing nothing with your life because you're trying to fit into a sick society and every time I've opened myself up to society or just looked around to see what was going on that is when I slowed down and that is when I lose momentum in my life and that is when I started like taking steps back and became lazier and lazier because everybody around you is down and out everybody around you has pretty much like given up and is doing the bare minimum so if you stop to look around or if you allow yourself to be influenced by that you're gonna become one of the same and that is why if you're chasing greatness or you're chasing your vision you need to be isolated you need to build upon that belief you need that energy to show up fucking daily to the gym and kill it and society is not going to be adding logs to your fire and that's what you need this shit is hard enough when you have belief when you're 100 percent all in and to have some fucking naysayer in the background or to have people who are trying to comfort you or telling you it's okay to take a day off like it's gotta go it's gotta be only you that's the only way this shit is gonna work you need isolation because you need to build that internal dialogue you need to build upon that belief so you go out and you take action and the only way you can actually believe in that and trust that and build upon that is to be surrounded by the source and that's yourself you have the belief you have the know with all you want to make something happen and the people around you they want to comfort you they want to say it's impossible they're naysayers they want to slow you down they want you to take a break. They are adding no value. Yeah, you can still love them. You can still appreciate them. But on this journey, on this fucking path, if you want to be great and you want to leave a legacy, you got to walk the fuck alone. That's how it is. And that's how it goes. Because you are one in a million. You have this vision that you want to be great. And what does society have? They want to take a step back. They want to relax on the weekend. They want to go to the gym and give 50%. And you want to be influenced by that? You want to be around that? You want them to taint your energy? And if you allow that to happen, they will suck the greatness out of you until you are one of them. Until you're just another part of the collective. Another average human being that has no desires, no dreams, no will to do anything more than what's already happening. And I look around and everybody's fucking complacent. Everybody's fucking still. Everybody just wants to, is satisfied with what the fuck is going on. And I realize that, but I'm the crazy one because I want to walk alone because I want to be a loner. No, I want fucking more out of this life. And I realize that everybody around me is walking around, talking like some fucking average beings who don't want anything more from this fucking life. And that is why I'm walking alone because I want fucking more. And every time I open myself up or every time I'm around some people, they will dull that shine. They will suck it out of me saying I'm fucking crazy. Saying, oh, why do you go to the gym seven days a week oh why are you fucking doing this because i want to fucking leave a legacy i want more from this life i haven't given up like fucking you and i need people who bring this out of me i want to be surrounded by people who want to be great people who want more out of this life i'm sick and fucking tired of being surrounded by people who don't want shit from this fucking life it is sickening and it fucking irritates me and that is why i gotta walk alone because i have to build that i have to sell that ship and then maybe i can influence people or take them out of what the fuck is going on in this world and maybe i can motivate and inspire them to do more with their fucking lives Besides just working their nine to five, their job, and that's all life is, and that's all life ever will be, and just conforming to the way fucking things are. Like, I see people, man, and they're so conformed and conditioned to the way the society is. Like, if you try to be great, or you try to do more, or you try to do a little more than what the fuck is going on in this world, they look at you different, and they will cast judgment when they're not fucking doing shit with their lives. They get off work, they take a shit, and they fucking kick their feet up and eat some food, but they're casting judgment on you. 
because you're trying to be great. Since when has trying to do something more with your life became uncool? Like this world is so fucking backwards and that is why I'm walking alone and that is why I will forever walk alone until I find the people who are just like me. Because I will go nowhere with my fucking life if I'm surrounded by people like this. I will literally just be living inside of a miserable pit. And when it comes to family, I love my family. But family is one of the first ones to steal your greatness. Like I had an alarm clock for like 4 a.m. and my mom comes rushing into the room, turning it off like, oh my God, why do you have this on? It's like, well, because I wanted to wake up at 4 a.m. And then I slept through it and then I woke up at like 8 and I'm like, oh my God. And then I woke up and I went upstairs and like everybody's just sitting around like all fucking complacent. And it just kills your mood. It just makes you want to do the same, like conform. And that's why I walk alone. I do my own thing. I don't like being influenced by any of my surroundings because I cannot make this shit happen if I'm doing what they're doing. It's damn near impossible to go in the gym seven days a week and not only just show up, but show out and kill it. And the reason I have to do that is so I have this energy after my workout to inspire and motivate and feed my vision. So I have to keep this going. And the only way I can do that is by being isolated, by being surrounded with only myself and my own internal voice and God. That's the only way this shit is going to happen because the only thing society, family, friends, people around me offer is you can't. Why are you doing that? Please take a break. They're all fucking naysayers. You need to slow down or they just question and critique everything I'm doing. And you don't want that negative energy around you because that's just resistance. And when you're doing shit that's this hard on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't want any resistance because even if you have that pure positive energy of just you and yourself and that belief, it's still quite hard. It's still there's still gonna be days where you have to push through and break the limits and it's not easy. When you're by yourself and when you only have your beliefs and your pure positive energy, and when you're tuning out the speakers and the volume of society and all the naysayers and all that, it's still hard. Now just add all the shit they have to say, and just add being surrounded by comfortable people, and just add all the negative energy that you have been fed by other people, and it's damn near impossible. And you're gonna slow down, you're gonna become complacent, and you're gonna become a fucking loser. That is why I walk alone. There you fucking go. And I will forever be a loner because this world, people want to die average. They're okay with that. And that is why I walk alone. And if that makes me crazy, so be it. Because the only time I have slipped or I have stumbled or I have lost momentum in my life is when I was surrounded by people I shouldn't have been surrounded by or when I wasn't isolated. And I'm not saying this is a forever thing. I just need to find people who are inspired, who are motivated, who want more out of life and who have the same zest as I do. I need, I need to be surrounded by people like that who add logs to my fire. And where it's an actual transaction to where I'm adding logs to their fire as well. Not where I have this fire going and I'm adding my own logs and the people around me and society is trying to dampen my fucking fire and throw water on top of it. Because that's all I've ever experienced. And that's why I fucking walk alone. And that's why I will continue to walk alone. Because I don't want to die not fucking remembered and just a fucking average, mediocre human being who only worked a job and that's all they fucking did with their entire existence. That is why I will fucking walk alone. Because I need to muster this energy in this manna so I can do the shit that I gotta do and I don't want to listen to any motherfucker. Because all they have to offer is you can't, you won't, and they're just projecting what they believe. That's the last thing I need in my life is people who are draining my energy and what I have because you need that to become great. If you don't have that, if that is being drained, you're just going to be a loser and you're just going to conform to what is going on around you and you're going to become a part of your surroundings. You got to break free from that shit. Believe in your vision. Follow your vision. Build up your belief. And if no one's feeding that fire, if nobody's feeding that flame, you got to walk alone. That's the only way you're going to make this shit happen. But yeah, I don't want to be a victim and I don't want to blame other people because that's what cowards do. But I'm just, you know, given like a fair warning of this is what I'm doing with my future. I am walking alone, I am doing my own thing, and this is the video that's set in stone, so don't fucking ask why I am walking alone and why I am doing my own thing because I just said it. So I don't wanna explain anything in the future. This is the only explanation, and if you don't watch my videos, then there you go, you're not getting no response. Then And that's that, and the crazy thing is like with my family, when I do shit like this, when I feel this way, when I wanna do more with my life, they're like, oh, he's going crazy again. Oh, he's doing this thing again. It's like, no, I want fucking more to my life. And you know, I'm not like born into Will Smith's family to where they see something like this. They see this fire and they want to build upon that and they want to support that. And they want to, you know, give that attention and feed that. No, I'm not, I'm not surrounded by that. They see this and they think it's weird. They see this and it goes against the grain. So they're like, oh, he's crazy. Oh, he's insane. Oh, what the heck is wrong with him? Because I'm surrounded by people who support mediocrity which is fucking sad. It is actually sad. They support that. And when they see greatness or they see something brewing or when they see like a fire inside of me or they see, you know, me wanting to do more, they think of that as weird. 
they think of that as like, oh, he's gone crazy, he's gone insane, what is he doing, he's off the rails. But yeah, that's how it goes though. Like these videos are meant to inspire strangers pretty much only. I feel like everybody around me is just gonna be cast in judgment. They're just gonna be like, that guy's a weirdo, what is that guy doing? Oh my God, he's weird, oh my God, he's insane. But all the strangers across the world, they're gonna be thriving off these videos and they're gonna be enjoying them because nobody's willing to speak like this, nobody's willing to come out and say these type of things. And that's what we need in this world. We need more people who speak their truth because that's what this world is lacking is truth. And that is why this world is so fucked up because everybody has so much suppressed emotions and everybody has so much suppressed beliefs and so many suppressed dreams that they cover up and that they hide so they can fit in. When you have somebody who just doesn't give a fuck and follows their truth and they speak that truth, well, it opens up me, myself, and it opens up other people. And it connects with something deeper than just that fake facade. And that's what you call an impact. That's what you call a legacy. That's what you call somebody who makes a difference. Somebody who can connect with the truth of the spirit, not just the facade of what we put on. But yeah, following your passions, following your pursuits, following your desires is gonna be one of the most loneliest pursuits that you do in your life. Because everybody is chasing what's safe. Everybody is chasing what's in front of them. Everybody is chasing the easiest thing to attain. So when you're chasing something that nobody can see and you're chasing your vision and you're chasing for more, well, first off, these people don't believe in themselves to begin with. So how do you think they're gonna believe in you and believe in your vision? And what makes you think that they're gonna to wanna to join in with you or they're gonna support you to go to that place? They're just gonna question, they're just gonna critique, they're just gonna judge because that's all they have to offer. They have no self-belief. So when they see you chasing something or striving for more, that's all they can offer because they don't even believe in themselves. So how are they gonna believe in you when you're first starting out? They're gonna be judging the fuck out of your first steps until you actually make something and then they're probably gonna try to take you down. Like that's just really how it works. It's the crab in the bucket. They see you making moves and they see you trying to strive and do better with your life and they'll support you until you're doing better than them and then they'll come against you and that's how the world works. But anyways, regardless, you cannot kill greatness. You cannot keep a good man down. We're just gonna keep striving and keep attacking our vision and keep moving forward. And that's all you can do at the end of the day. But yeah, keep showing up, keep believing. No matter what happens, just keep showing up and try to outdo your previous self. And the only competition is you. Don't show up with an ego because if you're competing with somebody else, it's not gonna turn out well for you. You should only be outdoing your previous self. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Peace.